Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu everyone. Hope you're all doing well, inshallah. So we ended the last discussion by encouraging you all to persevere and not to give up on trying to become a better Muslim, inshallah. So for today's discussion, I wanted to discuss if you've ever looked at the world from a bird's eye view. When you look down, don't we look like little ants just running around? Not sure if you guys have ever studied ant communities. It's so fascinating. YouTube a documentary later on if you want. But the point I'm making is that ant communities, they look chaotic, but within that chaos, there is order. And every ant has its specific role, duties, and obligations. And they're all united creatures who can literally move boulders. And guess what? The best part is that unlike us, Ants are constantly being obedient and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Honestly, it really saddens me when I catch myself doing something I shouldn't be doing, which is unfortunately quite often. But if I'm blessed with insight and realize my error, I look around me and I feel so bad because I know that everything is in the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except me at that moment. And I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me the opportunity to try and correct myself and seek forgiveness. So, so on, honestly, at times I look at an ant and I'm like, this ant is better than me. And I feel like crap as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created man in the best possible form. And here I am being ungrateful and doing things I shouldn't be doing. Okay. So anyways, we don't need to sugarcoat it. We all struggle with remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course being obedient slaves. But when we are obedient, guys, the results are phenomenal. Like a simple example, with one other, millions of people come together and form straight lines all within minutes. That to me is so amazing and a clear sign that we can all unite as one ummah. And if we obey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we too, like the ants, can overcome each obstacle as one force. But anyways, that's on a global scale. Let's bring it down a notch to the individual level where the same concept applies in that if you obey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, order will prevail and your heart will become content as you understand that this world is a test. And then no matter what is happening to you, good or bad, you will realize it is for your betterment. We all really need to have this deep understanding and awareness of our purpose on earth, which realistically, guys, is only for a few days. I wanted to end today's discussion by doing a little visualization exercise with you to probably, well, hopefully, inshallah, help cons uh, consolidate this idea, okay? So imagine you hear a knock at your door, okay? So you open the door and there's a man there with an entourage of people. Your heart just drops to the floor. What did I do? What's going on? The man greets you by your name and says, I'm here to take you to the President of the United States. Your mind is racing, going, what's going on? What did I do? This man clearly sees the fear in your face. And then he smiles and says, I bring with me the message that, guess what? You're granted immunity with an unlimited supply of money. What? Now your heart is probably jumping through the roof. You're like, hang on, is this a scam? Am I really on some reality TV show? What's going on? And while you're thinking all this in your mind, the man's staff is like dressing you in some designer outfit, perfuming you with some designer scent, and you look around and they start to escort you to this vehicle and you're like, oh my God, is this real? I can't believe it. It's real and I don't know what you're, you would do, but I would jump in that car and then tell them to floor it. Pretty amazing, eh? So what are the chances this is going to happen to you? Mm, probably never, but what if I say it can happen? You just need to think out of the box. You ready for this? So first off, this will happen to all of us, inshallah. We just need to keep trying to be the best person possible, inshallah. So are you ready for this, guys? Anytime now, the angel of death will come to us with its entourage and we're going to freak out in fear. But inshallah, we all will hear that the angel of death is bringing with him the glad tidings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and forgiveness. That's it. I hear that. I'm jumping out of my body and saying, floor it. <laughs> I'm so impatient. I probably won't even wait to be shrouded with a cloth from Jannah or be perfumed with musk from Jannah as I'll be besides myself because we made it. I made it. I got Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with me. It's going to happen, guys, any minute. We need to understand this and solidify it in our hearts and mind. Because if we accept that any second we're going to be meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this world and its problems will be trivial and everything around you will serve as a reminder for us to remember and be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you know what? We're humans and we forget. And this is why we have the Quran, we have this universe, we have the world. Everything is a reminder for us. 
And no matter what we're going through, we need to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never give us more than we can handle. So let's just say challenge is <laughs> accepted and have a positive attitude and realize that you can do it. And even if it's hard, keep pushing through because any second we're going to be invited back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us and let us persevere in the month of Ramadan, making every second count. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.